If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be doing a tier list ranking all the Madden Ultimate Teams. Now, it's a pretty cool list. I'm going to be able to go through all of them now. I could be wrong, guys. Like, very wrong. I feel like Madden 10 and 11 didn't have an Ultimate Team. I'm probably wrong. I thought I started in Madden 12. But regardless, I did play the games, so even if I didn't play the old team, I'll rank with based on game, and then we'll go make our way up as we go on. Now, I'm excited to do this list, it does seem pretty fun. I know I've been doing a lot of tier lists because they're just fun, they're fun, they're simple for you guys, they're entertaining in my opinion, and they're better than whatever we got going on in Madden 20, which is nothing. So, before we get into this guys, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family, start gearing up for Madden 21, hopefully, and guys, today's a sad morning. I'm trying to update my Call of Duty Warzone so I can play after my video. And uh, my game is downloading in what I believe is kilobytes, which is less than megabytes. I'm on 2%. It's been an hour. I don't know what's going on. This has never happened before, but it's been upsetting. But anyways, against this list, let's get going. So let's start off from Madden 10 now. Madden 10, I was, I was 10 years old. So what I think of those games at that time... Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit twisted. Now, I always thought these were solid right here. Now, Madden 11 was the first one that I really started playing, trying to learn plays. I remember I used to just, like, call verticals every single play, and I would just chuck it downfield. I really didn't know what I was doing. Oh, by the way, shout out to who made the list. So, it was kind of funny. So, I was going down. I was like, huh. 10th Prestige Madden Dweeb. I was like, what kid made this list? I go down. It's Dom. Shout out to Dom for the tier list. Awesome tier list. I always want to make one of these, but I'm always too lazy to do so. But you did. So, let's get into this. Anyways, Madden 11. Madden 11 was really fun for me. I thought it was, I thought it was super fun. Like I wasn't like into it, into it. But again, all I knew how to do was vertical. So, and maybe maybe running the ball. I think I did a few QB draws too. I wasn't really sure my QB kept taking off. It was a fun time. Madden 12 again falls into the same thing for me as solid. Like no, it was nothing special to me at that time. It was solid. Now here we go. Here are the old teams that I started playing in. I started playing from here on up. 13 years old is when I started getting those you know those Microsoft points and start playing my games. So, in my opinion, Madden 13 for me is GOAT status. Why is that GOAT status? That was my first Ultimate Team. It's like your first COD, you know? The first time you ever play COD, and you, you guys probably attest to this, like the first time you play, like you played Modern Warfare 2, you're like, greatest game of all time, nothing will ever top it. And every year it's like, oh, I wish it was like Modern Warfare. Literally, how I feel about this. This is my MW2. It was so much fun. I remember everything. The solos used to be great. Now, mind you, all the solos were full games. There was no such thing as a limited solo like we have now, you know, journey stuff. They, they do that for all the people with low attention spans now. Now, now I'm so used to it that I probably couldn't go back and play this like that. But I remember they used to have this one solo sequence, which was my favorite. Every week, they drop a legend solo sequence. It would be like four straight games. You had to win all four. I believe, I could be wrong. I think you had to win all four. It was like pro difficulty. No, it was like rookie difficulty, pro difficulty, pro difficulty, all pro difficulty. And then, uh, like legend, let's just say, whatever it's called, all Madden. And that was so fun. If you won all four of them, at the last sequence, you get a free Legend Pack. And back then, Legend Packs were so expensive, and they were... they. Well, I don't think you can buy a coin then. I could be wrong. I think it used to be money. They were like, it was like a $20 pack or something like that, or $10 pack. So, for me, as a kid, I was like, that was awesome. So, I really liked that one. That was my favorite Madden. That was the Ray Lewis intro, which was super hype as well. Next, we got what I believe would be well, Madden 25, right? It went Madden 13. And then I believe what Madden 25. Yep. So for Madden 25, this was the this one honestly for me was in great. And that was because it was the next gen version. So if you guys don't remember, it went they dropped Madden uh, 25 as with Barry Sanders on the cover. And then shortly like a month or two after that next gen dropped, and then we got the next gen consoles, and then this AP on the cover was the next gen version. They transferred all your cards. It was super fun. I remember having all these good promos. And they put a lot of effort into it because it was next gen. And then we went from this big jump of like Xbox 60 graphics to Xbox One graphics. So it was just overall. Again, it's like, it's just like how things work out. Ended up being a really fun time just because of the way that the timing of the game. Moving on to Madden 15, which would be the following game. Madden 15 honestly was really fun as well. Now, this is at a point where like I was three years into Ultimate Team and I was already like, eh, I hate, like, I hate it restarting. I was like, oh, here we go again starting over but these games are always so much fun i thought i thought that one was really fun that's actually the last disc i bought i honest i'm pretty sure over there in a little cabinet is the last disc i bought 
Yep, about like five years ago. That was the last like disc for Xbox I ever purchased, and that's how everything was always digital for me after that. I don't remember too much of the Ultimate Team. It kind of, I like I said, that was at a point when I was turning 15. I was going out more and stuff, less video games. So for me, that was like a blurry uh, phase for me in terms of Madden 15. I did play a lot of franchise that year though, and that's why that, that year was just really fun for me. Madden 16, honestly, that was a great Madden. That was Odell on the cover. I believe that's when they started introducing like the spec catch, the spec catch feature, like a Y, one-handed catch with Odell. Honestly, I really liked that game. I thought it was super fun. Franchise was great. The game was great. They just introduced like, a, I'm pretty sure that was like the aggressive catching days. I could be wrong, but I know, I know why it was like introduced. Cause like Odell on the cover with this one handed catch and they were going to start doing stuff like that. That game was really, really fun. I really liked that one. Now, as we get past like Madden 17, things start to come down a little bit in terms of, I believe quality and how much effort. Cause this is like, it's like when you're trying to build your brand, right? When a restaurant first opens, the first ones are using the highest quality. Oh, if they can afford it, they're using quality stuff. They're trying to keep you up. They have the best customer service. Once they become 10 years down the line, like the most official place, they can start backing up on their quality a little bit because they know people will come regardless. It's, it's a brand loyalty. So in my opinion, I think that's what Madden did because back here they had the coolest intros. They had all this extra effort, all this stuff, the community. And then as we got up, they, I feel like they slowly started taking less effort into the game. In my opinion, I'm going to put Madden 17 in great. I think this is probably the last great one. And again, I'm not going to talk specifics. I'm not going to talk a lot about the other ones that I really like. Getting on to Madden 18. This is kind of when things started to come down a little bit. I think Madden 18 was solid. I honestly, I think I got bored of it pretty early on. I wasn't, I wasn't like the biggest fan of Madden 18. Then moving on down to Madden 19, 20, 21. So here we go. Madden 19, in my opinion. I thought it was... I on People say it was trash. I thought it was solid. Now, that was primarily... I, honestly, I never really thought of Madden was just absolute garbage. I, I really haven't. I really hadn't, in my opinion, because I still enjoy football. Like, I'm at the end of the day, regardless of how they make the game, I enjoy football. And, that, and that, that's just to deal with that. Now, if I honestly, I think Madden, Madden 19 wasn't great for a lot of people, but for me, that was the first year I started taking, like, playing very competitively serious. Like, I wasn't just throwing, like, four verts and stuff, so... I remember I was grinding my team out. I was doing no money spent like all year. I was grinding my team out. I was getting the free cards from the auction, uh, from the, the trophies, the whole trophy system that set up finally. I was learning training. I was playing weekend league. I was playing online. I was competing. And honestly, it was super fun. I was, I was like, wow, okay, so this is like really fun. I was winning Super Bowls. And I started grinding my team out. I played almost the entire year and then I started a YouTube channel. So for me, that was like the turning point for me, which was Madden 19. So honestly, I can keep it up there. Now Madden 20, if I didn't do Madden YouTube, It'd probably be in trash but i'm gonna go with n eh. i was indifferent like at the end of the day it helps my youtube you know i get to make videos out of it i've, I've you know i've done it every single day but i'm not gonna lie like they, i was let down pretty much every day this year and like not in terms of like everything was bad but i was always expecting something like it's like you know like when they always say like don't don't like look don't um over anticipate something like you're gonna get let down so like, oh yeah i was like oh you know i cannot i can't wait for that blitz promo to come it gets here after the first day of offers. I was like, oh, oh, this was it. Oh my god, I can't wait for that Christmas blitz to come. Every day hogging, hopping on, hopping on, hopping on. No Christmas blitz came. Oh, I can't wait for this. Never came. Oh, guys, I, I will tell you guys, like, get ready for this blitz. For our Super Bowl. Never came. I can't wait for the motivator promo. Never came. Ooh, Cam Sears gonna be fire this year. Never came. So, like, it got to a point where I was almost like, all right, like, I'm gonna stop looking forward to things. Because they, and even, even when they did give us things, they even watered it down a bit. Like, Rick Ramirez was a quick hitter. They said that they were done. Year over. And I was like, that that's it? Like, I, I was expecting more from this, this last month or so. And they really just, I feel like they dropped the ball on that. Now, again, at the end of the day, I still enjoyed the game. I didn't think it was garbage. I didn't, I wouldn't be here every day if it was garbage. So I'm gonna go with, eh. I don't think it was great. I don't think it was solid. I don't think, like, they did a great, I think they, they did a poor job this year. But because it's football and I love football, it still kept it up there. Now, for the final one, Madden 21, that's gonna go and go. Why is it gonna go and go? Cause that's my next my brand new youtube year and first off the first month of every madden is the best madden they ever mad that, that's just a fact at this point the first month of madden's always oh, this is the best madden so until until it gets bad after the second month that's the best madden i mean and it's, it's gonna be hopefully a big youtube year for me so i'm really excited for that as well so i mean i'm excited for it it's gonna be fun lamar's in the cover that's a really cool cover honestly probably one of the coolest covers we have on here that and mahomes ap was cool i thought calvin was pretty cool especially when it had the actual copy and everything but in my opinion, Madden 21 so far, until proven guilty, it's pretty good. 
Guys, about it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.